Okay, here we have a rapid start fluorescent light fixture. And I have tapped starters onto them. So I remove one pin of each lamp and then I connect a starter between one of the pins on each end of the lamp. Now watch what happens when I flip it on. Yep, pretty much behaves like those old two lamp preheat ballasts from the 40s. This is a high power factor magnetic rapid start ballast. These are F20 T12s. Pretty cool. Listen to that starter. Let's watch this starter. Pretty cool. Let's do that one more time. By the way, I do not recommend doing this because this could be very dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, you could easily get shocked because fluorescent ballasts do put out very high voltages, especially for electronic ballasts. They put out around 600 volts. Something like this, this magnetic ballast probably puts out about 200 volts, but still, it can still be very detrimental. So I highly do not recommend this. The startup is epic. Do that one more time. And you might risk ruining your ballast. I do not know if that's true or not, but I wouldn't risk it. One more time. In case you're wanting to do something like this, so you just take one pin out of the socket on each end, leave one inside, and then you want to take some alligator leads and attach a starter to each, to the to the circuit so one wire goes to one end to the starter from the, from the starter to the alligator clip and then to the other end and that's the same for the other lamp this will also work on a single lamp fixture just the only difference is that it takes one bulb and I tested this on an F30 T12 and the results were were good. I tried it on an F40 T12 on my single lamp strip right there. It would not strike the lamp. It would just behave like if you're familiar with fluorescent preheat fluorescent lights, you know that with with an EOL lamp it would just blink blink continuously. That's what I was getting on the uh, single lamp F40 T12 strip, probably due to I only have FS2 starters and F40s and F30s require FS4s however the FS2 worked just fine on my F30 strip so you know what we'll do this one more time beautiful alright thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe